Imagine a monstrosity with four spider-like limbs growing out of its bony, giant-sized head. That's the stuff you find in bad dreams. But the Backrooms has ways of making even nightmares into reality. Hello everybody, I'm Stretch. Today, we'll be talking about Entity 63 from The Backrooms. Entity 63, also known as The Mangled, is a hostile and humongous creature, with eerily long and muscular spider-esque limbs with exposed veins. The entity's head is the size of a human, with saggy skin and visible muscle tissue. It has a bony face, with a large mouth that is constantly open. Held in place in its sunken eye sockets are a pair of reflective pitch-black orbs. Its limbs appear to be connected directly to its bulky neck, but on closer inspection, you'll notice that it actually has a body. Entity 63 typically measures around 30 to 50 feet tall. Due to its height and rather unique appearance, it is easy to spot, though recent reports suggest that they are capable of altering the size and thickness of their limbs on command. Entity 63 will only appear when a wanderer remains on level 9 for an extended period of time. Level 9, also known as the Suburbs, is home of the Mangled. It is an infinite suburban area shrouded in perpetual midnight. No two houses on the level are the same, varying greatly in design, shape, and size. Some houses are lit and fully furnished, while some are old and empty. It is unknown where power comes from, since no power plants or generators of sorts are found anywhere on the level. The streets of Level 9 appear as wet, unpainted asphalt roads, with sidewalks made of stone. There are also trees and flickering street lamps. Should you follow any walkway leading to grass fields or wheat fields, you'll eventually end up in other levels. As mentioned, Entity 63 will only spawn when certain conditions are met. First, you must stay on level 9 for at least 12 days. Then, a blanket of thick fog will begin to form and gradually settle. The fog starts off harmless, but will slowly drop to temperatures below freezing point. It's best to avoid the fog or risk contracting hypothermia. Unfortunately, it is only a matter of time before the fog envelops the entire level. Even then, the freezing cold is the least of your worries because what comes next is even more terrifying. You'll be alerted of the entity's arrival when you begin hearing distorted wind noise coming from the fog. Entity 63 easily towers over the trees and houses and will stop at nothing until it finds you. I'd suggest finding a hiding spot in the sea of houses, but it appears that it can sense the whereabouts of all living beings on the level. A survivor claimed that the entity was able to pinpoint their location even when they hid inside a closet in one of the houses. Upon spotting you, even from miles away, the entity will stretch and tear open its impossibly large mouth and emit a deafening screech at you. The sound blast hits you like a truck and will literally blow away some of your memories and replace them with false ones, leaving you momentarily stunned and confused. As the entity creeps closer, low-pitched screaming or sobbing can be heard. Despite its tremendous size, Entity 63 is quite nimble and agile. It moves swiftly on all fours using its weirdly flexible limbs. This is seen when it maneuvers across buildings and terrain on level 9 in impossible ways, to the point where its joints appear mangled, hence its name. Its limbs can even spawn new joints to make traveling easier. When attacking, it will either stomp on you or try lifting you off the ground. It can also no-clip freely, so it'll have no issues reaching you through structures. Take note that Entity 63 are lone hunters, meaning that if more than one appear close by, they will fight over the same prey. Thus, it might be a good idea to lure one to the other, then run away as best you can while they are distracted. The Mangled is something you'll definitely want to avoid on level 9, though it's not the only thing you should be afraid of, but that's a story for another time.